Hi everyone, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Welcome to our virtual quilt show videos. Uh, if you've not ever joined us before, welcome. What we have are three yard quilts to share with you. We actually have nine different books that you can choose from. Every single book is $15.99. It has eight patterns and every pattern is written for three sizes. So whenever you uh, open the book and you check it out, you'll see that it has a lap size, a twin size, and a king queen. Every quilt is based on our three yard quilt kits. You'll need three one yard cuts to make a lap. You'll need uh, six one yard cuts to make the twin, and you need 12 one yard cuts to make the king queen. So um, today we're gonna to be talking about using bold prints. And one of the things that we have on our freebie button, we have a button on our website. Our website is fabriccafe.com. And one of our freebies is 10 Big Block Stash Busters. These are our top patterns that we use for uh, busting your stash. So if you wanna check that out, these are individual patterns. Every pattern is uh, $5.99. Some of these patterns are available in the books and while you're in the free goodies page on our website, check out our My Pattern collection sheet. And that will show you where, the, it'll tell you the book and it'll also tell you which book the patterns are in. So check out those two freebies on our website. Now today we have some beautiful fabrics for you and um, Hannah is helping me out. And the first one that we wanna show you this is not a bold print, but it will work really well with bold prints. This one is called Dash. We no longer have this particular fabric, but um, as we've told you before, every one of my patterns will work with any three one-yard cut fabric, uh, three one-yard cuts of fabric. Okay, this is going to be a great show today. <laughs> I'm going to remember all my words. Okay, Hannah, why don't you put that over here on the edge of the table, and I'll show you the first fabrics. So we're talking about bold fabrics today. We periodically uh, get in fabrics that are just really beautiful, and they're really bold, or you might possibly have some things in your stash that you say, you say I just was really... a attracted to that fabric, but I didn't know exactly what to do with it. And this is a brand new fabric from Robert Kaufman that we just got in. And this is the fabric number one. You put your, you pick out your focus fabric first. So we're putting this in our focus fabric, which is fabric number one position in the pattern. And then we have our fabric number two is the lightest of the two leftovers. So you have a focus and then you have two leftovers. You have a light and a dark. So fabric one, fabric two, and fabric three. And you can see how big and bold these fabrics are. And the, this is kind of a gold metallic in here. So they are pretty, they have a little bit of a sheen to them. And we are going to do our little trick that we've done before. We've cut some pieces and we're going to put them together uh, with the actual quilt block so you can see what it looks like. Now I'm going to pull this over a little bit because we're going to put it on these. So this will be your fabric one or your focus fabric and it's used here as well as in the little block. And then your fabric three is used here and your fabric two is your background. So whenever you're picking out your fabrics, the reason why you want a lighter background is so it makes your uh, design pop off of the surface of your quilt. So let's take our fabric number one that we've chosen here and we've cut these to size uh, pretty close to size here. Let's turn that one this way so that you can see that. So this would be your fabric number one and those are all blocks that are cut individually in the pattern and then we strip piece a section that has your fabric number one and it has your fabric number two strip pieced. So you take three very long pieces, you sew them together, and then you cut them into this unit. And then you just sew a strip along the side of that, like 
So, and this is giving you an idea of what this quilt pattern would look like if we were to use this nice big bold print in that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now here, we then sash those blocks with a strip like so. And then we've got another one right down here. And we're gonna take our cropping tool so that you can see what that looks like when we take out the red. Now this is a general idea of what that looks like. My, my cropper's almost not big enough, John. We're yeah, gonna have to make a little bit bigger cropper here. <laughs> But that kind of gives you an idea. You take away that red and you can see it a lot better. So let's move this down like so. Isn't that pretty? Can you get that framed in there for them, John? Yep. It's very pretty. So that's how this quilt would look. And that's using two very, very bold prints. And that's one of the tricks. If, you can, if you're using big, bold prints, then we recommend that you separate them with sashing or... Put some of that light color around them to separate them out from the other fabric from one another okay let's put these over here and we'll take that quilt away and look at those fabrics a little bit closer all right look at these so here oh we looked at our fabric number one two and three already so here is your kit number and all of our kits are available on our website they range in price up to $36, and uh, you can go in and see this number, 8020398, and it's called Glamour. Now, the way we post our quilts, some of our newest quilts, and this is one of our new ones, is um, they're going to fall at the very beginning of the quilt kit page. We are recommending the dash pattern, and the dash pattern is an individual pattern that you can select free. Or if you prefer getting a book, when you buy three kits, any three kits, then you can take a book free. This one is called Easy Peasy, and Easy Peasy includes the dash pattern here. The next one that we have is called The Sewing Queen. That's cute. Okay, we've got some cute sewing fabric we're going to show you. This is the recommended pattern. We don't have this fabric, but you can see another good example of two very busy fabrics. And we even made our sashing kind of busy too with that little black and white polka dot. But this is super fun. And it, you can see how it separates out your busy fabrics with your contrasting color. So we're going to put that one up here. No, we're not going to put that one up here. Um, we're just going to show you the fabrics. Now, the pattern we're recommending that she just showed you is called um, Pretty Simple. And when I designed that pattern and I wrote the pattern, I looked over at my husband. <laughs> he was driving and I'm riding in the car. And uh, I said, well, that was pretty simple <laughs> when I was referring to writing the pattern. And uh, I said, I think that's a good name for it, too, because it goes together very quickly. Now, look at this adorable sewing fabric. Very busy, but very fun. So one block would be this, and has all these cute little sayings in here. Do not disturb. The queen is about to sew. Isn't that cute? So each one of the little blocks has uh, cute little sayings on it. And then your companion fabric. And see how it's got the polka dots? It's really picking up polka polka dots across from those, and then we put some polka dots in the sashing as well. So the focus fabric will be in your largest, uh, one of your largest blocks. This will be in the second large block, and then you'll sash it with the multicolor print. That is just too cute. All those cute, the sewing queens. I bet some of you are feeling like a sewing queen. You've probably gotten more sewing done in the last couple of months as you have in the last couple of years. Kit number 8020397, The Sewing Queen. The pattern is pretty simple. It comes from the book Quilt Favorites. Now here's the pattern. You can take the pattern free, or if you want to buy three kits, you can get Quilt Favorites as your book choice. 
uh, you'll notice whenever you're ordering the kits, there's a place that says book deal. And if you order three kits, you can pick any one of my nine books and get it free. Quilt Favorites is actually a downloadable pattern book and you will get it, um, you'll get a code for it so you can download it. Okay, the next one, now this one's a bright, 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 bold fabric. So I explained to you, you can use two bold fabrics and just separate them out with your uh, sashing. You can also just have a single bold fabric and put a couple of um, tonal prints with it, and that looks really good too. Here we have two very bold ones. This pattern is called Lickety Split, and uh, we have cats in this one. Again, we don't have this fabric, but we like to show you the uh, quilts all made up, and you can see the nice size. This is one of our three yard kits, so that's the size you can make with one three yard quilt kit. So this one's called Lickety Split, and it is made so quickly. Um, I always try to put one of these fast quilts in every single book. All of them are quick, but I always like to put an extra fast one. Put that one up here, and we've got some blocks cut to show you on this one as well. Okay, let's look at the fabric that we selected for this one, John. Okay. And this one is a big, bright bold floral design that has hot pink and royal blue. And I just think this one is just great. Those great colors. And then we have the companion fabric. This would be your number two. And this is a good example of where you have tonals that are pretty close together in trying to figure out what's my light and my dark. It's pretty obvious that the blue one is the darkest. But if you ever get two fabrics that are close in tonal value, you can give a little squint and you'll see that the pink comes out being the lighter of the two fabrics. So that's your focus fabric, your number two fabric, and your number three fabric. Now, I've got my pieces cut here to share with you. Now, I want to show you this pattern in the book. Let's see. Where did I put my easy peasy? Did I just, no, it's fast and fun. Oh, when you have nine books and eight patterns in each one, and you can remember which book it's in, <laughs> you're doing really well. Okay, so this one is called Lickety Split, and it is in the book Fast and Fun. We want to look at that particular pattern. I want to talk to you about the way it's actually made and what makes it so fast. I do the big wide strips and I put, I alternate my colors with my focus fabric and my number two fabric and I make these big strip sets. And then I reverse that over here so that you've got um, the focus fabric and then the number two over there. The reason is because one row is going to start with your focus fabric and one row, of, it's a vertical row, is going to start with your number two fabric. And I do make a point over here that you wanna watch your directions on your fabric. So this is great if you have a directional fabric. When you're sewing your strips together, just make sure that you're putting your directional fabric in the same way so that if these kitties were a directional fabric, all their heads would go in one way. Okay, so that's how we make this particular one. Wanted you to see that. And here are our focus fabrics. So we've got the floral. Would you like for me to move that down here, John? Let me move it down here so you can get a better, closer look. This is your number two fabric. And can I move it closer to me too? Sure. All righty. <laughs> I'm a little shorty, so reaching across that table was not the easiest thing to do. Okay, and here's your sashing. And here's your sashing. And let's block that out with our cropping tool. And see what it looks like. So you can really get an idea of, let's see, what am I doing here? <laughs> do I have these wrong? I do. <laughs> okay, 
I bet that happens to you at least once in your lifetime. Okay, so here we go so that you can actually see what this quilt's going to look like all made up. Isn't that pretty? So those colors go together really well. All right, that one is called, put this here, it's called Vibrant Garden. Here is your pattern number. It is the Lickety Split uh, pattern in the book Fast and Fun. But because this is only available, the pattern is only available in Fast and Fun, it's not an individual uh, pattern, then we are suggesting Pretty Simple. And that one's from Quilt's Favorites. So you can get that as an individual pattern. And remember, our three, uh, three yard kits, any one of our patterns works with any one of our, let's see if I'm saying this right, any fabric works with any one of our patterns. You know that little snack I had right before we started this? <laughs> I think it is inducing a nap. <laughs> We, we had a snack so that we could have lots of energy during this, and, and I'm like in a food coma. <laughs> All right. Well, we keep joking that the coffee's just not very caffeinated this week or something. <laughs> it's like, oh. Well, we have a little cool snap here in Texas, and so it just makes you feel like you're going into fall. And if you don't live in Texas, let me tell you what a cool snap is. It's not 100. <laughs> I mean, when I left my house this morning, it was actually 73 degrees. I was so excited. That doesn't happen in August in Texas. It's usually about 90 in the morning. And it's about 103 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun to be 100 degrees at midnight. Oh, well, it's never quite that bad, is it, John? It has been. Oh, well, you know, I just blocked those things out of my memory. But we have we have super air conditioning, <laughs> except when they go out. <laughs> I think we we have three people in association with Fabric Cafe, and their air, all three of them had their air conditioners go out this week. Okay, well, enough about the weather. <laughs> okay, the next one that we have for you uh, is called Lightning. And this one is from my Easy Does It book. This is a great beach, I think this is a great beach quilt. So if you've got a beach house or a lake house or something like that, I think it would be great for that. And it has a very bold, um, what's that called? That swirly thing, kind of like a conch, conch yeah, something like that. Okay. And then it's got the, the sea glass. We're gonna call it that, how's that? But that one's really pretty, and we separated them with the um, the white. So you've got a white on white in there, and that looks really nice. And the quilting's really kind of oceany wave look too. Yes, Very yes. Very cool. And you know, whenever I send these out to be quilted, I give very little direction to my long arm quilter because I think she's she knows what she's doing and she does it well. So uh, this is a great example of how she looked at this one and said, I think I'll do some ocean looking waves on that. Okay, let's look at the fabric on this one. This one is, um, here's your conch shells. Very nice. Get it over there a little closer to you. And then we have a white on white for our number two. And for our number three, we have the sea glass. That is just really pretty. Now this one is pattern number 802023. It's called Seaside. The pattern is lightning. It's only available in the Easy Does It book. This is the Easy Does It book. And we do have eight patterns in three sizes in that book. If you do not take the Easy Does It book free with three kits, then the alternate pattern is called Jigsaw. And so that would be a, a similar look, but it, they're not the same. They actually have a, a different sized step on the, the design. So this one is called Seaside. Okay, the next one that we have to show you 
we're out of this fabric too. I know we do that a lot to you. Somebody asked me why I didn't show a quilt for every fabric we have, and that's because we wouldn't have time to make videos. We'd just be making quilts. Uh, so we want you to know that any fabric will work with our patterns and they all look great. So this one is called Sweet Times, and this is a cute camper fabric. It is from Lorelei, and sometimes I can get that same fabric again, and when I do, I'll bring it back out again. It's very, very popular. But we have a real bold print here that we want to share with you that would look really cute in this, this uh, Sweet Times. So this one is um, called Pinata Party, and they're just real brightly colored um, animals. And keeping with what we said before, these are really bold fabrics. How in the world do you put a bunch of bold fabrics together when well, you just separate them with your sashing? So that works really well. And here's your fabric number two and your fabric number three. So let's look at that quilt just one more time, Hannah, up here on the table, and I will show them. Every block is, every one of these blocks is going to be the same. It'll be your focus fabric. So this would be going in every block, but each block is bordered with a different color. So the white could go around one of the animals, and then your teal will go around the other. So it would be like so. So that would be a really cute way to put these animals into your quilt. So this particular pattern is called Sweet Times. It's from the Easy Peasy book, and it's also an individual pattern. So this time you can get the book um, Easy Peasy and you'll have that pattern. Or if you want to take this pattern free, then you just choose Recommended Pattern. Uh, the kit number is 80. 20279. Okay, the next one that we have for you is another version. So this is perfect. Let me have this one and you hold up the campers. Now this, this is the same exact pattern made with two different fabrics. So that really does give you an idea of how any fabric is going to work with these uh, particular quilts that we're showing you. Okay, so this one and the, the fabric that we're recommending is called Princess Party. Now Princess Party is a, a great Disney print. I'm going to turn this one over like so. Okay, so here's our princess, our princess fabric right here has some pretty little stars with that little bit of yellow tying in with, I believe that's Cinderella. No, Cinderella's in blue. This one is... Belle. Belle, thank you. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm soon going to know all of this again because, as y'all know, I have a new great-grandbaby, and Yuna will be into princesses before we know it. She's only six weeks old now, but I know how time flies. Okay, so we have our princesses. We have our number two, so focus, number two fabric, and our number three. And I love that fabric, that's so fun. It's like different colored bubbles coming up. And uh, so coordinates really well with the colors in that fabric. Okay, this one is 802131, it's called Princess Party. And again, it's the Sweet Times pattern from Easy Peasy. So you can get the book or you can take the individual pattern free when you buy the kit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna take a little drink. All right, the next quilt that we have is Tic Tac. Uh, this again is a good example of using two big bold uh, prints with the sashing in between. I do not have this specific Snowman fabric, but don't we have some other snowman fabric on the web? Mm. We think uh, we do. Snow days. Snow days, yes. Snow days is one with this. It's a more of a blue uh, snowman, but uh, this is a really cute one. But it's a good example of this particular one, and we'll put the quilt up here in just a minute. This one is is very fun, and it's called a pop of color. 
and it has these bright florals with the teal and then the polka dots that are a companion to that. Isn't that cool? Now, as I was saying, this is a good example, and we're going to put the quilt back up here because we've got two different big bowl prints with a red sashing. In this particular case, it's your two bold fabrics, and it has that teal in between. So it would give them a little division there so that you can focus on the bold prints but have a little resting place for your eyes. Whenever, oh golly, I, I, these little stories kind of pop up in my head. And I remember when I was first learning about marketing and creating an ad, um, it was really important that you learn how to put uh, white space in your advertising so that people have a chance to relax their eyes because it can get so busy that you don't have any place to rest. So that's one of the things that the sashing does on your quilts. If you have a nice big sashing, it gives you a place to kind of rest as you're looking at the busy prints. Okay, the next one. Did we get numbers on uh, a oh, pop of color? I am so sorry. Got so busy reminiscing again and telling stories that... Here we go. We have a pop of color. Here's your number, 8020395. The pattern that we're recommending is from the Easy Peasy book, and that's the book that we were just talking about a minute ago. The pattern is called Tic Tac. You can get it as a pattern, or it's in the book Easy Peasy. All right, the next one that we're showing you is um, Brick Street is the pattern. Now, I don't have this fabric either. You're seeing a lot of them that we don't have the fabric left, but we're showing you lots of brand new fabric that just came in. And this one's a good example, again, of your busy prints, and it's separated by a smaller print that gives you a place to kind of relax for a moment. And um, I like Brick Street a lot. And this is a super fun and fast pattern to put together. Okay, the fabric for this one is another really busy but very beautiful fabric. I love this. I love all the colors in this one. Can you get that one really well, John? Yes. That pretty green and teal, the little purple. So this is your fa focus fabric. This is your number two. It's going to be the one that you see in between the two. And then we have this gorgeous royal blue with the gold. So that one, those are gorgeous. So focus is one, two, and three. The pattern is Brick Street. The number is 8020396. It's called Bold and Gold. Brick Street's your pattern. That is in the Fast and Fun book. Now, although the pattern is in this book, Let's see. I actually have it shown in a pink and yellow here. It's not available as an individual pattern, so we are recommending so fast as an alternate pattern for you. Okay, the next quilt that we're going to show you is Jacob's Ladder. That one's made up with a um, batik and just a Beautiful quilt. I really like that one. And this one's from a uh, Modern Views book. But we have a little uh, fabric here, and it's just a small print. This is not really a bold print, but we wanted to show you that this pattern would look good in um, a small print as well. So this particular one is called Beach Birds, and we have two um, of the Beach Birds in two different colors. And they all have these little orange beaks. See the little orange beak here? And so we put the, I'm calling it orange, what's that called? Terracotta. Let's, let's use a more romantic sounding name. <laughs> the orange is terracotta. <laughs> so um, these are the, the three that we're recommending to go together. It would look very nice in the um, Jacob's Ladder. Here's the picture of the, the pattern. Are you getting the glare? 
Nope, nope, we're good. Okay. So your light color would go in that section, and then your blue would go in this section with your terracotta in your blocks. I think that would look really nice. Now that one is an individual pattern, or it's available in uh, the book Modern Views. The number 8020228, Beach Birds, Jacob's Ladder, and Modern Views is the book. Oh, another really yummy one. Now we're going to be showing you, it's a snap. We do have this fabric available on our web. And um, I think it's just gorgeous. I love it. I, it's, it's like cascading squares. Take a step over that way. Okay. So you can see the cascading squares coming out. And your toenails match beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on purpose. <laughs> Okay, so we have cascading squares, and um, we have the light background, and this is really making the beautiful medallions pop. So this one is available, and it's called Eastern Skies. But we have another fabric that we recommend that you try this in. This is a little bit busier, but it would look gorgeous because you have the contrast. And if you were to squint and look at this, you can see the contrast between those three fabrics. They're going to pop and they're going to cascade, and this will be your background to make sure that these two blocks show up as it cascades down. So this one, this is your fabric one, your light is your fabric two, and your dark is your fabric three. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And here's the pattern, it's called It's a Snap, and It's a Snap is available either in Pretty Darn Quick Book. It's available as an individual pattern. And here's your number, 8020364 Kaleidoscope is the name of the fabric. So that one is with It's a Snap. All right, now this one, this one is the, was the cover of my very first book. Did you know that little piece of trivia? <laughs> Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts um, is my very first book, and this was the cover quilt for that one. I do not have this particular fabric, but we do have some other beautiful fabric to show you. This is the Friendship Star, and the um, big block is here, and then we've got the darker fabric here, with your number two fabric. So it's very pretty. And let's see what we've got here. Now this is doing something a little bit different for you. Um, I think I might want you to put that on the table in just a minute. Okay, so here's your floral on this one. Is that not gorgeous? I just love this one. Some gorgeous uh, roses that are all bloomed and opened. They're gorgeous. And we've picked two of the companion fabrics to go with this. So you've got your roses, you've got your light, and you've got your dark. And you've got all of these little pops of color in here that go with that. So let's put the Friendship Star up here just one second, and I'll show you how this is going to work out. So you would have your, your main fabric here would be your big block. And then over here, the green would be your number two fabric, would be the white. And then this is going to be your dark here. So if you can picture that. And then a little pop of the roses over there. Okay. Now this one is called Rose Colored Glasses. It's the Friendship Star Pattern. It comes from my book, Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts. The number is 8020330. And if you do pick Quick and Easy as your free book when you buy three kits, then we will send you a code for a downloadable because that one is out of print. We do not have it in a printed version at this time. If you prefer an individual pattern, we do have the pattern available as an individual pattern. Rose colored glasses. The next one is uh, 100 Acre Friends, and we love Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. Many of you know Eeyore is one of my favorites. Uh, I just think it's funny that anybody could be so sad all the time. <laughs> I 
I'm so happy all the time. But uh, we do have this fabric available, and I'm I'm showing the 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 quilting on this one. It's really cool. It's got bumblebees on it. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, with Winnie here, can you see it? No, you can't really see it better on the back because it's got a polka dot on the back. But um, really, yeah, cool. there's um, maybe you can see right them. here. Can you see it on the border right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, let's look at the fabric. So we've got Winnie the Pooh and Friends, 100 Acre Friends. And of course, what would Winnie the Pooh be like without the yellow and the reddish orange? They're just the Winnie colors. All right, this one is 802017. It's 100 Acre Friends, and it's the county fair pattern which is from Easy Does It. Again, that's the Easy Does It book. And if you want an alternative pattern, because we don't have the county fair is not in an individual pattern, but the alternate pattern is pinwheel plus one. Now we have some last chance. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, we do have quilts that are called Last Chance. That means we're getting really close to running out. So if you're thinking about this one or have been thinking about it, you want to take advantage of that right away because we are getting very low on the quilts. This one was very popular. It's called Square Tastic, and it's just bright colors put together, and it makes a really cute quilt. If you were to look at Windmill, that's one of the suggestions. And... Here are your three colors, focus, light, and dark. It's the windmill pattern. And here's your number, 8020281. Square-tastic windmill is from the Quilts for Kids book. And here's another one with some pretty bold colors. This one only has one left. It was very, very, went very, very fast. <laughs> Okay, this one is called Confetti Sunset, and it has your focus, your number two, and your number three. Really pretty fabrics. We're recommending the Kaleidoscope, and your information again. Here's your code and the name of your kit. Only one of those are left. And now... Oh, we only have three of these left. This is such a pretty kit. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm always falling in love with my own fabrics here. Uh, so you can just imagine how many quilts I have. <laughs> this one is uh, called Valentine. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And here's your number two fabric with the little hearts. And your number three with that pretty peach. Pink and peach running all the way through all of the quilt. We're recommending uh, Town Square and your information 8020261 oh, Valentine. Only three left. Check that one out. And this one is gorgeous. This one is called uh, Hawaii Surf, Hawaiian Surf. Uh, we're recommending the Corner Play. It's from the Pretty Darn Quick book or you can also get it as an individual. There are only four left of this one and it is gorgeous. So you've got your blue. This is a uh, ombre and it goes from light to dark. It's really cool the way this one shades out from light to the dark. Beautiful, so it really adds a lot of interest to your quilt and you can see how it's going to give you lots of drama and then this is your number three fabric there. All right, well, this is the end of our show for today. We hope that you've enjoyed it. We always enjoy getting to share our fabrics with you. Uh, if you want to see the high quality version, this particular one is live right now, but we will be posting on our YouTube video uh, channel. It's called quiltshowvideos.com. Virtual. Virtual quiltshowvideos.com. Oh yeah, we always have a link around here too. So <laughs> we'll put it, we'll be posting it on uh, uh, Facebook as well. 
uh, Thursday, we have Christmas in August. <laughs> we did Christmas in July, but we didn't have all of our Christmas fabric in, and we got a big bunch of fabric in the other day, so we're putting together uh, Christmas in August. And so uh, be sure to join us Thursday at 4 o'clock live on uh, Facebook, and that's 4 o'clock Central Time. Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Have a great evening.